What is going on, YouTube? Welcome to We Sibs, West Coast, East Coast Siblings, where we talk about your favorite movies and TV shows. Tonight, we are talking episode six of Servant. This is going to be your biggest takeaways, reaction, review, etc. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, click the bell so that you don't miss. Um, let's dive into it. It was a really weird episode. It was called Espresso. And the, I guess the premise of it, or the first thing they wanted us to understand, is that both Sean and Dorothy were getting tired of Jericho, right? They were just worn out. The baby was always crying. They made a point of that several times in the episode, um, just showing the parents like at their wits end with exhaustion. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, it's based around like Sean gets an express an espresso machine um, to help keep them awake and stuff like that. Um, now, we are picking up in this episode where George from a couple episodes back, he comes to the house looking for Leanne. And so right off the bat, uh, you know, it's like, how did this happen? How did George even get like to their house? They just let him follow them home. Um, you know, it seems like he's a hostile character. So they wouldn't just be like, oh, let's hop in the car and let's take you to the house so you can fight with us about getting Leanne back. Um, what was super interesting about this episode, though, is are the characters dead or are they angels of some sort? And and when I'm talking about characters, I'm talking specifically about Leanne and George. Um, George had said some really weird things several times about, uh, do you know what she is um, and what she's able to do? And we finally got a better picture of why the house is rotting. Um, I thought that made no sense. And Apple actually put out a video a couple weeks back where M. Night Shyamalan himself was talking about why the foundation of the house was rotting and and he had said it represented the darker vices that they had and um you know he uh, julian in one scene had to reach down and grab the bottle of wine and just reach in there and it was all about this but i i mean he did create the show but i didn't believe it like it, it seemed like there was more to it and uh in this episode we find out that this is leanne's doing and we had talked about this um when sean had first uh, when Leanne had called the house on the iPad and Sean answered while Dorothy was in the shower and Leanne said to Sean, why don't you just tell her the truth? And at that very moment, the shower cut off and the floor started cracking in the basement and uh, water started coming up. So that's continued to progress now to where it was a pit and um, where Dorothy buried Leanne in that pit. And um, so a whole lot has gone down uh, down in the cellar. And it has to do with the foundation of the lie, really. I think it represents the foundation of the lie crumbling. Um, it, it's all falling apart as they try to make it seem like everything is normal. And again, this has been just a, a, a plot point that I keep reiterating is that they keep trying to put a Band-Aid on a bullet hole uh, where they're acting like everything's fine. <clears throat> but there were some weird things in this episode that I wanted to point out because I'm not I'm not too clear on them myself, actually. So uh, it'll be a fun discussion down in the comments below. But <clears throat> um, Sean had mentioned something to George saying, we had a deal, right? The baby was supposed to stay with us. So, and, and George actually responds to that by saying, the deal you made was not with me. Um, could this be alluding to a deal with the devil or some kind of thing like that? Uh, who knows? M. Night has been very vague with these things. Um, so we're getting information at like a trickle pace. And so I, I just thought that was an interesting point that he had made. And I don't know what he was alluding to by saying we had a deal. Who who did Sean make this deal with? Um, that's something that we don't know yet. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Um so then another thing happens in this episode that is is actually really telling and 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 that is when George is in Leanne's bedroom looking for her obviously and he says um you know that they've always been around that they've always you know you know who we are we've always been around or something to that effect and that's when I I initially thought maybe they're dead you know and you look at george and he's got like dirt on his face all the time you look at his hands he's got dirt on his hands and naturally you would think okay maybe they're from the grave they're coming up from the ground 
And uh, he says, we're always, we've always been around. And I immediately thought of graves, right? They're always, a, you know, they're, they're around you constantly. And the guy, you know, is covered in dirt constantly. Um, I think it has to do with that. It could possibly be some sort of spiritual being like an angel or something like that as well. Um, especially when you take into consideration the supernatural powers Leanne seems to possess where she is able to give people plagues. And yes, George even confirmed this, that Leanne did give Sean leprosy with that boil that he had on his hand when he had burnt his hand. She took the feeling out of his hand and it became leprous, it seems. Um, and then also his loss of taste. <clears throat> was something that had come up in the episode. And so George actually claims to be able to heal all of this for Sean if he'll just um, give them back Leanne. Now, we find out also in this episode, and I mean, we knew as much, Leanne does not want to go back, okay? And we're now fi finding out that she ran away when she first came to them. Um, you know, seeing their ad in the paper or whatever, and then, um, you know, coming and asking if she could nanny uh, for Jericho, the fake baby at that point, because remember when Leanne had gotten um, to to Sean and Dorothy's house, Jericho had already been dead. And so she she was going along with their fantasy. And that's kind of the entire thing um, that the show is a fantasy. And, and now it's crumbling at the seams. It's tearing apart at the seams and crumbling from the foundation. Um, so she's there. And they and they consider possibly letting her go and taking George instead, as George seems to have more information about the whereabouts of Jericho, the cult. He knows more about Leanne. Leanne just seems very single minded right now. She has a vengeance. Uh, she's got a vendetta against Dorothy, obviously, for the lies she's told and for the evils that she's committed against her. And Leanne also thinks against the baby. And, and we're getting to that. Um. I know a lot of people think in the comments, and, and I, I tend to agree, that Dorothy probably killed Jericho in a fit of rage um, around 2 a.m., as we saw um, in a couple episodes ago, or last episode. And that's that's the sin that she's been covering up. And so uh, Leanne is out for vengeance, uh, vengeance in that in that. As far as that goes, she wants to see Dorothy go down for this. And so that's all she seems to be able to see. <clears throat> but now that George is in the house, she just wants out. She wants to escape. And so at the end of the episode, Sean ends up taking Dorothy. Sean ends up taking Leanne and they're about to run away. But Leanne makes Sean promise saying, um, OK, I'll go with you if you want to get me out of your house, you know, and you want to hold George here instead. That's fine. But you have to you can't bring me back to those people. You have to take me somewhere far away. She wants to run away, essentially. And so that speaks to her not having a good relationship with even the people there at the cult. And remember, at the end of season one, they seem to all come around her. That scene where she was in the, in the street. And there was the blue balloon and, and the people seemingly of the cult were um, huddling around her. She is reluctant. And George says as much. He says that she's rebellious. She has a rebellious side to her. And so um, with her wanting to leave, uh, there's not much that seemingly can be done given the amount of power that she has uh, where she's literally tearing the house down the longer she's there. Uh, so that's definitely something we're going to continue to see as the house rotting as long as she's there. And she and, and she is still there because, remember, before they left, Dorothy came up the stairs and found them. And uh, on the television, the residence or the house that Leanne and the cult were staying at, there were gunshots heard over there. So there's some kind of fight breaking out. Let me know what your speculation is on that. And what could be going on at that house, considering the main characters are all right here. There's nobody we really care about who's there or that we even know about that could be getting in some kind of confrontation, some kind of conflict over at the residence. Um, but shots have been fired. And so all attention kind of went to that at the end of the episode when Sean was about to let her go home free. Um, now, one last thing I do want to mention is. George talks about Sean's sins or something that Sean has been covering up. 
his lie that he's not admitting to. Um, and then we get several flashback scenes where Sean is on the phone. He's got an opportunity to be one of the head chefs on one of his favorite shows. And he obviously he has a two month old and he's not able to do it because his wife has her hands full with the baby and she needs help. Uh, they, they have to come together in this situation to take care of the baby. And so it gets overwhelming for him as it's already overwhelming for Dorothy. And he, um, we're assuming at this point, because he tells the girl, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I can go to L.A. Uh, and they're in Philly. We're assuming at that point that this is where he leaves them, neglects them. And this is where Dorothy gets just completely overwhelmed and she she goes past that point of no return where she ends up ending Jericho's life um in a in a fit of rage or whatever now <clears throat> it seemed from the flashbacks and things that Jericho uh passed away when Sean was in the house and he was there that night that the police were there um but some things may end up being rewritten I wouldn't put it past this show as Everything seems kind of either up in the air or rewritable. So I, I wouldn't hold anything as concrete um, right now. But yeah, just things continue to get super twisty. And I want to know from you guys, what do you, are the, do you think that George and Leanne are dead? Or do you think that they're angels? Because I think those are the only two options that we have at this point, considering they're always around, right? But they're not easily perceivable because obviously nobody noticed them before. Um, and, and particularly George's hands always being covered in dirt and his face always being covered in dirt. Um, and you can even see now uh, Dorothy makes a joke. What's 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 he going to send? Boils, uh, frogs, all the, all the different plagues. And they get roaches <laughs> that come up from the basement. So uh, they're under a curse, it seems, right now. So those are the biggest takeaways from the episode. That's what we could take from the episode. My theory is that the house is going to continue to keep crumbling, but I really do think everybody's going to hop in the van, Scooby-Doo mystery style, and they're going to head over to the residence to see what's happening. And George yells at the end of the episode, look at what you've done. And I think he's talking to Leanne in this moment. Um, but obviously, that's just my two cents from the episode. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Also, be sure to like the video. If you're liking the video, are you still here? You might as well hit the like button, subscribe. Um, it's a good time. We cover your favorite movies and TV shows, and we're always taking suggestions down in the comments below. Got anything you want to see us cover? Let us know. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.